Hi everyone, today's video is a get the look for Janelle Monae's um, red carpet look from last week's Golden Globes. If you'd like to see how I created this, keep watching. I started off with my face as I tend to do for natural-ish looks. I first primed my face with Becca's Ever Matte Primer and then right over that I'm applying Mary Kay Medium Cover Foundation and I'm just dabbing this on with a damp beauty blender and I'm applying this all over my face, over my eyes as well. Then I highlighted the center of my face. You may have noticed the foundation was a little bit dark. I don't mind because I know I'm going to highlight. And I'm highlighting with AJ Crimson Cream Foundation from the Artist Palette. I just applied that in the center of my face and then I blend it into the foundation. Back into the same palette, but this time with a much darker shade. I'm going to contour around my hairline and under my cheekbones, first with a brush. When I've gotten rid of most of the product, then I go in and do my nose. Then back in with the same damp beauty blender, I'm going to tap that and blend it right into the foundation. Tap, 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 keep tapping until everything looks kind of seamlessly flowy together. Then I'm going to set my highlight with Sasha Buttercup Powder. We're setting, not baking, so I just press it in. Just press it in to the center of your face, no need to leave any excess or anything like that. Then I'm going to set my contour as well and I'm setting the contour first with Black Radiance Contour Kit and then with Barrier Powder Palette. Then over the rest of my face I'm applying MAC Studio Fix. And that's it for the face. In with my eyes now. Um, first thing I did was fill in my brows. Now her brows are very full for this look. I'm filling my brows in with gel liner from Blot Cosmetics in number three. Her brows are really full and natural looking. So I try to keep this really, really natural, brushing through to distribute product. It's not as dark as I usually go, but it's a lot fuller. The first eyeshadow is a light matte brown with some sparkle in it and this is number 54 from Inglot. Then in my crease I'm applying Galapagos from NARS. I'm applying that in the crease and just blending it into the outer corner. It's also like a matte shade with sparkle in it. I definitely noticed different shades of brown kind of blended in for her eyes. They looked kind of matte, but it still had some sparkle to it. So that's why I chose these shadows. And I'm just going to go back and forth till they look blended in properly. This here is a fluffy brush with no product on it. So I'm just running over lines to smoothen things over. Then with the shimmer shade in the black um, radiance contour palette, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and blend that in with everything else. Time for some eyeliner. Uh, this is gel liner from Higai and Esther in Onyx. So I lined my upper lash line and smudged it out with some eyeshadow and I'm going to do the same in my waterline, okay? So first the gel liner, then some eyeshadow to um, smudge it out. Then I'm going to apply the same matte brown under my eyes as well to smudge that out so it goes from intense black to brown. Then I'm going to apply a bit of tinsel um, pigment, This that's from Magnolia Makeup. I'm not sure if hers was glitter or pigment, so I did both. First the pigment and now this is silver um, glitter from Italia Deluxe. My lashes are mink lashes from Scott Barnes in Ursula. I applied those with tweezers and black um, lash glue from Danessa Myricks, I Make You Beautiful. Mascara is from Makeup Addicts, just to push my lashes into the falsies, yes. <laughs> and that's it for the eyes. Her lips were a very soft, flirty lip, so I started off lining my lips with um, Black Up 2-in-1 Lip Pencil in Dark Brown, I think that's number three. Then some Toots lipstick in the center from Magnolia Makeup, blended that in and covered it up with some gloss from Senna Cosmetics. Smack, smack to blend, and our lips are done. My blush is from Kiliemma, and this is a new um, um, Nigerian brand that I'm trying out. Blend that in, and then some Sublime Powder, also from Black up on her cheeks because yes she did have some glow going on blend that in some more highlights on my brow bone and we're done ladies I actually like this look the silver is a bit much for me for an everyday but I really liked it after it had faded out a little hope you enjoyed the video new video next week